What's happening, Andy here? I'm joined today by Jenny Fisher of Great America. How are you today, Jenny? Doing well, Andy. Glad to be here. Great to see you. Great to have you on. We have a lot to catch up with. I have uh, not seen you in quite a while, but I've seen your people everywhere. Um, give us a little bit of background before we jump in. Who, who's Great America and what do you do for them? Uh, Great America is an independent finance company that is focused on uh, financing office equipment or technology for our customers with a strong focus on bundling. So very good at managed print services and managed IT. So a huge, huge, um, maybe not a huge uh, leasing company per se in the way of, uh, you know, the size of some of the banks that are out there, but one that is certainly very, very well known in our circles, in our world, um, especially in the office equipment reseller channel. Uh, you guys are, are, you know, literally at just about every event that I come to. Um, you've been busy. So where, where have you been? You were just, uh, you were in Florida recently. What was going on down there? I uh, attended the CDA meeting last week, which was an excellent format. There were just a lot of good partners there and a lot of good customers and good content presented at the meeting. Uh, the OEM panel was fantastic. Just they to get did. Up and, and listen firsthand to right, some of the challenges they're encountering and how they're navigating through this. Yeah, they had, um, that was a who's who's list on, on that panel. Pretty much, uh, pretty much every Every major vendor in our space was uh, represented at a, at a very high level. So um, just great stuff down there. And of course, Great America couldn't, couldn't miss a, a, a good event like that. Um, other events, what have you been doing? You've been, I heard, you, I heard you've been out and about doing some dealer visits. I heard you had saw our friends down in, uh, in Memphis at MCC. Where else have you been? Uh, well, I've been uh, going to head to Ohio next week for yeah. college retirement. That's a big one, right? So Barry's retiring and, and you're going to go see Perry and and send them off. I, I was supposed to go to that. Well, I was invited to go to that. We, um, we have another, another, com another conflict. So unfortunately I can't make that one, but you'll be there. So um, where in Ohio is that? Uh, the, the open house is going to be in Lima where their headquarters is. There. Awesome. Yeah. And we did, uh, we did a visit, I think to Perry location at one point on the Jillian ride one year, right? We, um, we stopped there. These are by the way, great hat, great hat. Uh, it's just, <laughs> It's funny, I could have picked anyone today. Of course, I picked the one that you guys uh, you guys made. So great, great addition to the ride this year. And, and so we stopped there at Barry's place on the ride. You're going to go uh, go see him off. I wish I could be there. That's going to be a great one. And um, other events coming up. Where are you going after that? Uh, well, we've got the Kanata event uh, the week, next yeah. week, right, coming up. And the big Kanata dinner, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a fantastic event as well. I always look forward to that. And I've been out quite a bit on the road. So after that, I'm planning on being grounded until ECS. ECS. Well, you know, we'll hold the ECS thought because I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, that's one of the many things you guys sponsor. Uh, just tons and tons of, of just great um, community uh philanthropy and, and just just giving back you know that's that's one of the things you guys are known for uh we we joke about the hats right the jillian hats but you guys are a major sponsor of that um you're just coming back from a little golf event i hear a little what was it fog i don't know i haven't quite gotten myself on the invite list for that i'm working it um but why don't you tell us about that because you guys had a bit more of a role in that this year uh yeah so we um sponsored a team at the fog and it was a great opportunity to just uh, again another group good group of dealers there, all Conica, but it was nice to be able to participate and uh, network with that group, as well as a few um, industry leaders. Um, yeah, Friends of Golf. At, Friends of Golf is what Bel Air is. Country Club, which is yeah. really cool. My disappointment, though, I was really looking forward to the dinner being held in the Bel Air Country Club. Um, however, they are in the process of building a whole new country club, so our dinner was in a tent. So you have to go so back. Awesome. Beautiful have to golf go back. course and beautiful people. You're going to have to go back next year and see the new country club, right? That's right. That's right. Hopefully. Perfect. Perfect. Well, um, so you've been busy. You've been out and about. So what have we been talking about? I'm going to guess, you know, we, we've uh, we've had a lot going on in our industry in the last year, last 18 months, right? There, there's just been one crisis after another, just when we're sort of turning the corner on the whole COVID thing, we get hit with, um, you know, hardware and delivery issues and, and you know, this stinking chip that, that nobody can seem to get. Um, well, you guys don't make hardware, you know, you don't, you don't make devices, right? But you have a whole nother 
kind of take? Why, why don't you talk about what you're seeing in the in the world of leasing and what's you know what's happening with interest rates and 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 what's Great America got going on? What are they doing right now with um with with just all the turmoil in the industry? Yeah, sure. I think you pointed at another crisis, right? But throughout the past, going on three years now since the pandemic started, it's just been new, um, new and different challenges than any of us have faced in our careers in this industry. And uh, while Great America has continued to navigate those challenges, all the while being focused on how we can help the dealers navigate through this, um, now we've come up on a new challenge, and that's the rising interest rates or the cost of funds, right? And this has been going on for um, really 12 months now, but especially in the last six to eight months, um, the rate at which cost of funds is increasing has just been much more rapid than what we anticipated. So we were a little slow to move on our rates in the beginning. Again, as we continue to help the dealers as that the equipment flow is picking up and a lot of transactions are coming into fund, um, keeping in mind, a lot of these transactions are 90 and 120 days old. So you think about the dealer going out there to close the transaction. And since then, right, they've closed it at a price. The cost of the equipment, services, supplies has continued to inflate. And now you got the cost of funds coming into the pictures. They're feeling tremendous pressure on both sides of the spectrum. And so while we have been um, slowed and very strategic in our navigation of the cost of funds, we're at the point now where we've been forced to move. And so um, that creates a different challenge as we think about increasing and we go to implement those moves and and then we've encountered another change or two that so it, it's really hard to keep up with it but yeah. we're doing what we can and like I said very strategically trying to ensure that we're helping the dealers close those those deals that are in the funnel right that they're actually able yeah. to fulfill the orders now and get them funded um, yet find the right balance of economics that we need to continue to thrive and grow. Well, you know, it's funny because I've been removed from, you know, I haven't sold copiers in over a dozen years. Let's just keep it, keep it simple and just say that. And, you know, I remember that price sheet that you would get and I hadn't considered, you know, as I watch all these ads for mortgage rates that are going up and interest rates on car loans that are going up, it hadn't even occurred to me what was going on, you know, right under my nose and how much that's going to impact. You know, you've got pricing, like you mentioned, pricing increases that have been coming um, pretty consistently over the last year or two, right? Every vendor's pretty much had them. And and so, you know, add on to that, you know, you're 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 that sales rep and you go to your 36 month chart and you put your numbers in, and all of a sudden there's, you know, a little higher multiplier in there. And, and now that that lease that was going to be three hundred dollars a month, you know, is three twenty-five or three fifty. Yeah, and it's right. you know, it's the same machine, it's the same sale, everything's the same. So, you know, now you've got to go back to those customers, your price. So it's, it's not just that increase that these guys are all dealing with in the field for the hardware, which, you know, makes sense and you understand it, but now you've got to add on top of it. It's, it's, it's more of an increase because the interest rates are up. So, so you guys are coming up with some programs. You've been, you've, you've got some flexibility that you've been, um, you know, I, working, you know, I guess one-on-one -on -one with the dealers to try to help them through their individual situations. But that's one of the things I think that's made you guys, you know, one of those maybe smaller brands that just, you know, high touch, right? You're, you're known for, for just um, the flexibility and, and just working with, with dealers um, on a deal by deal basis, right? To help them with, with um, getting through certain situations. So why, why don't you talk about that? You know, I think that is one of the, um, tell me about how, you know, great America's culture and just the way you guys have always worked with dealers is, is has really helped you, you know, with what's going on now in these higher rates and, and just, you know, what you're seeing out there. Well, I guess maybe uh, one of the primary things I'll focus on is just the strong relationships that we have in the industry, because these difficult these conversations can get a little difficult, just as it is with them and their customers. And bottom line, everybody understands what's going on out there, right? And so it's not news, but it does become a little emotional uh, when you're looking at changing the pricing and they've got closed transactions, and now it's impacting the overall revenue that they're getting on that transaction. And so, again, the strong relationship bids us um, the ability to play in a stronger way with those dealers and not only talk about the race, but what more can we do to help you close the transactions that you have today? And, and often that gets that takes a little creativity of getting outside the box 
Uh, but the beauty about great America and being independent is that it affords us the flexibility that we can do pretty much whatever we want. And one of our mottos is, right, it needs to make sense um, and it needs to make some sort of money, uh, but as long as, it, we, as long as it hits both of those marks, we're gonna do it to help our customers in any way that we can. Well, it's, you know, you look at, at, at as, I wouldn't call it maybe an opportunity, but really it's, it's um, you, when you're out there and you're a salesperson and you're talking to that customer, you know, tell them, look around, look at what's happening with interest rates in every other part of their world. Look at the mar- mortgage rates, look at how everything is going up. You know, I'm not saying our rates are going to go up tomorrow at the end of this month, Mr. Or Mrs. Customer, or whatever, but they might. And, you know, just if they don't sign now and they push it back a month, they may wind up paying more. And, and you know, these are conversations that you may be able to have as a sales rep to kind of, I don't know, push push the sale along and get, it, get, get them to close a little sooner rather than later, because we are at that point where, you know, if you wait even a week or two, I mean, if you wait a day today, interest rates tomorrow could go up. You know, you never know until the first of the month. Well, you probably know, but most of the people in the field don't get to know until, you know, that next, that next um, sheet comes out and, and you find out, oh, we just went up a little bit. And, you know, now I have to go back to every one of my customers who's sitting on, you know, a proposal and tell them it's going to be 5%, 10% more and nothing else changed except the amount went up. Right. And that's, that's a hard conversation to have. Nobody wants to, have, nobody wants to say that to their customer. And that is true because of the movement we've seen. Uh, those conversations are becoming much more frequent, but it's going really well. Well, that's good. That's good. But that's you guys, you know, staying on top of it. But um, I think this is a good transition to sort of the final segment for today. You know, you guys, um, you've never been shy about picking up the torch, uh, being leaders in, um, you know, carrying that mantle and, 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 and whether it's a conference that you guys are just showing at a big conference, a little conference, like we mentioned CDA, you were there. I've seen your people this year at, you know, all the BTA shows you guys were at, uh, several of the OEM shows, the dealer shows that I, I was at this year, uh, the pros elite show, you guys were even at that one. That wasn't even a, you know, um, as far as vendor partners, there were not very many vendor partners, but yet there was, you know, there, there was the great America team. So, you know, talking HR and, and, um, that was a big message for you guys this year. But, um, my point is my long winded point is you guys are always, you know, willing to jump in and, and help, uh, um, get involved with whether they're charities or whether they're just industry leadership events. Uh, and, and now you're taking a leadership role in, in, um, and in the executive connection summit, which is a, uh, a, a recently rekindled, let's call it recently rekindled show. Uh, Mike Stromalio and his team had been doing it for several years when MWA and Forza was uh, a standalone company. Now their Forza is, is a part of the, the Konica Minolta family. And Mike has uh, started his own, his own gig, right? His own Stromalio Consulting. And they rekindled uh, the Connection Summit, the Executive Connection Summit. Last year was the first one. It was just awesome. Um, just a great couple of days of networking and um, sessions, seminars, uh, people, you know, great speakers, good panels. Um, and then, you know, just great after, after everything, that's just the meals and the, the networking, hanging out, talking to people, um, doing business. So it was, it was just a really great couple of days, but you guys were a regular sponsor last year. This year, you are taking a big, big role in this. Yes? Uh, that is correct. Yeah. So what, what was it about the show you liked? Why did you decide to, you know, rather than just sit back and participate like you have done in the past, why did you want to get out in front of this and become such a, you know, this is a big deal. I think there's you know, senior, senior people from all the dealers, you know, a lot of the dealers. And, and if you're not on the list, you should be on the list coming and, and we can get you in touch with the people to, to get you the info so you can come. But tell, tell me, what was it that, you know, made this something that Great American wanted to be such a big part of? Yeah, so Andy, you mentioned that uh, Great America is always willing to step up and help uh, with a lot of these events, right, in the industry associations and what have you, and that is very true, but in many ways, it's selfish to a certain extent because we want to be involved because we're always trying to gain a better understanding of the challenges and the opportunities that our customers face, right, as we continue to evaluate how we can help them, and so when you think about ECS, it's just an incredible venue to bring people together, the best of the best in the industry, to share those ideas on what are they doing? How are they using 
um, analytics? How are they evolving their businesses? What do we need to be thinking about to continue to play there? And it's not just the ECS event. It's the energy that Mike's created by bringing all of these right industry partners and uh, work, workplace, workforce solution providers is the new term as he's coined it together to spur those ideas, just like other industry events. So we see um, stepping up and being one of the leaders of this event, uh, for one thing, gives good presentation for what we're really about, right? And that's innovation and evolution of our customers. Uh, but twofold is really just exposure to additional partners out there that maybe are not so typical in the office equipment industry and learn what they're doing and what they're focused on. That's gonna take us into new avenues. And the purpose of all of this is really, again, focusing on helping our customers continue to evolve. There's been a much more rapid pace of um, thought around uh, what do I need to do next? What, what complementary streams of revenue can I add to the core to help me continue to expand and grow, right? From the dealer perspective, and Great America has always been very focused on the tools and the resources that we can bring to the table to encourage that evolution and continue to help our dealers down that path. And we've got a lot of new ideas that have come out of the consortium um, and the networking there. And I look for the opportunity to get in person with a lot of these industry partners and dealers and have good collaboration, experience good collaboration on the front, right? Where we can really sit down and talk about what more can we be doing. Well, it's it's just like you said, it's a it's a great couple of days, and you've got some amazing people there, and 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 the takeaways, what you learn is is excellent. But you know, the, the bottom line is this show's no joke. You've got, you know, the Doyles are going to be there. You've got Dex there. You've got Patassi and his POA team. You've got the people from Marco Flex will be there. Visual Edge will be there. So that's top five biggest dealers in our country. It may be the world, right? And they're all sending people, they're all coming. But you also have medium-sized dealers, you have small yeah. dealers, you have the senior, senior people from virtually all of the OEMs, just about every OEM um, that I could think of uh, is sending people at the highest, highest level, CEO level, um, executive VP level, presidents, um, and, 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 and people under that as well. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's valuable to anyone just to be there, just to see the sessions, the seminars. But, you know, if there's that person that you're trying to meet, if there's that, you know, uh, dealer that you, that you are looking for, if there's that OEM that you wanted to talk to, right? These are, the, this is a great place to do it. It's a, it's a neutral field. Right. Um, you're going to be there with some of your competitors, uh, some of them. You know, you're not the only one sponsoring this. There's a lot of companies sponsoring this. You guys are um, what I would say is probably the premier sponsor, one of maybe one or one or two premier sponsors. Uh, and so you're standing out. You're, you're really you have really grabbed that mantle this year and, 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 and taken a, just a, a big role in um, setting this up, facilitating uh, you know, and running it, you know, I don't know why you would want to do that. I, I enjoy just attending, but you guys are going to, you know, have a lot more stage time. I, I hope um, there's just so many different, you know, great, great parts of the last couple of events that I remember. Um, not all of them were the social events. There were great meetings at these events, great uh, speakers. Tony was just awesome last year. He was, he was one of the ones that everybody was talking about at the end where he, you know, he kind of reviewed where Great America came from and how he started it and just that past and how he came here. We're still talking about it at CDA last Yes, week. yes. Just the, the things that people share at these events um, and, you know, the, um, just the different technology and, and, and you see how it's working out in the field. The gentleman from EFI and his um, his, his, his kid that was running, um, helping run that, that center. I think they showed the video of, of the pick center where they were um, filling orders, uh, yeah. and working alongside with robotics. It was just, you know, just really interesting things that, that you wouldn't normally get the chance to see. So um, it's one of my favorite events of the year. I encourage everybody watching this. If you, if you want information, you know, get in touch with Jenny, get in touch with me, uh, get in touch with Mike. We're running out of time though, because um, he did cap it again. He capped it last year and we hit, we hit the, uh, we, what was it 150 or 175 last year and we, we maxed out. And so this year he made it a little bigger, but we're at the capacity of the hotel now. So well, yeah, last year there was a little bit of a capacity restraint, right? Because of the COVID restrictions. Yep. So this year, but we're still, that's a, and it's filling up fast. So yeah, we're, we're, we're capped, capped at 300, there. right? 300. Uh, your registration filled out. And like I heard you in your talk with Mike last week, get your room booked if you want to stay at the hotel. Yep. 
get your room ready, get your, first of all, get your registration done today, which is the 31st. Uh, if you miss it and it's after the 31st, you can call Mike and Hero and maybe beg a little bit and, and maybe they'll, uh, you know, take some, some, have some sympathy and get you in at the, uh, the early bird discount rate, but it's, it's worth coming to. It's, it's a great event. And, and uh, you know, I look forward, hopefully I'll see you before that, but if not, I will see you in, in probably a, a ton of great America people at that, that conference. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a few folks there, so it'll be great. I would imagine you would. You know, first of all, first of all, if you're if you're anywhere north of the Mason Dixon line, you want to be at this conference because it is mid January and it's in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I can't think of a better place to be at that point of the year, uh, that time of the year, than than down there because I know what it's going to be like here in Rochester, New York, in mid January. It's not going to be. It's not gonna be nice. So um, I did go get my rooms. I did get my flights. Uh, re I, I'm registered, so I am. I'm all in. Uh, Jake's gonna be there. We get the you know the full Slowetsky team will yeah. be there. So we look forward to it. We'll bring our purple hats. Absolutely. All right, Jenny. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with us today. Um, have a good holiday. If I don't talk to you before then, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you on the other side. All right. Thanks, Andy. Good to right. catch up with you. Take care. Bye, Jenny. Bye.